mistakes Next time I swear I'll change James Blunt, when I find love again. It's Dan Radio Style. Hope everybody out there is having themselves a great day. That was a requested song by one of the viewers, and uh, I took a little gander at it, and boy, it caught me right there at that uh, that little chorus part. Really dug it. So, good song. Thank you for that uh, recommendation. Uh, I don't necessarily always take requests, as you guys know, but you can always offer them, and if I like it, I'll play it, and that's kind of how that generally works. <laughs> Going to be doing a show, uh, basically, Am I Doing This Right? Uh, I thought it was a good time to revisit Kind of couple, uh, cover this from a couple angles that maybe I haven't hit specifically, uh, but certainly some of this information is kind of getting regurgitated in a slightly different way, though, so hopefully it helps. Hopefully it really kind of helps kind of empower us to sort of take chance or take charge and really move forward with uh, with this whole manifesting process, right? Trying to manifest your specific person, trying to manifest love, trying to manifest money, cars, house, boats, whatever you're into, we definitely have techniques that can help you. And certainly this law of attraction slash Neville Goddard kind of mixture, I really do think is an award-winning formula. I think it's awesome. So there's a lot of us talking about it, good reason for it. So I highly recommend it. But uh, one question that so many people ask is, how long will this take? Uh, First off, it's an impossible question to answer for anyone outside of yourself. Uh, You have the best options to be able to gauge how long or how far down the path you have to go. It's really a question of many, many factors. And I've got a couple different things that you can kind of use as, as a guiding light, if you will. But are you appreciating life? Are you having fun? Is that like your norm? Are you finding that you're normally enjoying your day-to-day? Are you happy to wake up? Are you happy to tackle your day? Are you having fun doing your job? Are you having fun doing whatever it is that fills most of your time? Are you enjoying your days? Does your time tend to fly by? If that is your normal experience then yes, you are probably well on your way and making great progress. And in all honesty, you really aren't noticing how long it's taking because it doesn't matter as much. You're really just living your day to day. You know you've got this this experience that's coming and you know you've done all this imaginal work. Maybe you're still doing some towards it and you know this, it's coming. You just, you know it is. You, you feel it. You're seeing the indications. You don't necessarily question it because you know, you know what's happening. Now, if you're not appreciating life, if you're not having fun, if you find that you're frequently asking, God, how much longer do I have to keep doing this? Odds are it's going to take you a lot longer. Uh, Really, the better way, and it's just counterintuitive, I know for a lot of people, but really the feeling comes first. You feel good first before you actually get the thing that you think will make you feel good. It doesn't work the other way. You don't get the thing and then get to feel good. No, 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 no. You feel good first, and that's what attracts the thing to you. You've done the imaginal work. You're like, universe, that's what I want. There it is. And then you vibrate in a happy place. Or a lot of people say, well, you act as if you already have it. The reason you do that is because it gets your energy to the place where you already have it. So you're happy. You're fulfilled. You're thrilled. Everything's groovy. It's not necessarily like the part of the technique that makes it come. It's the makes you feel good. That's what makes it come. So if you're having things that are causing you to not feel good, that is slowing you down tremendously and, in many cases, is keeping you from it, period. It's an energetics thing. That's really what it comes for. You do the asking. You, what is it? I forget the C. uh, You believe and then receive, all right? So you ask, uh, believe, receive. I I picked that up someplace. So again, you want to do the asking, yes, But you want to feel like it's coming. You want to feel good. That will make a big difference. So also, when you're finding yourself asking, like, does this take a while? Is this going to take a while? What you end up doing is you kind of remove yourself from alignment or from the vortex, as as Hicks likes to call it. So just the very nature of asking removes you from that good feeling place because now you're paying attention to what you don't have basically and what you don't have doesn't necessarily make you feel good does it no 
So again, it spirals you back down into that negative place. That is what we're trying to avoid. So again, we've talked a lot of different things about what are things I can do to feel good. We've beat that dead horse. There are other shows I've done, and we can. I'll do more of them coming up. This show is not going to cover all the different things that you can do to feel better. I've, been, I've done a few shows, a number of shows. So please, and if you have to, I can link them uh, elsewhere. But another question, am I doing this right? So many people frequently ask that. Am I doing this right? Well, how are you feeling? Oh, again, whoa, there's that question again. Why does he keep asking how I'm feeling? Because that is what matters. If you're feeling good, if you're feeling great, if you're feeling groovy, you're on the right track. Things are happening. It's coming quickly. You're on the right track. Keep going. Keep doing what you're doing. Whatever it is, whatever it is that's working, keep doing it. If you're vibing low, if you're not feeling good, if you're huh, beat up, defeated, whatever, sometimes it's a good idea to just step away from it for a couple days. Not forever. Not asking you to let go. I got a lot of I get a lot of questions about that. I'm asking you to step back for a moment, reassess your life, reassess what it is that makes you happy reassess what you're doing day to day that's not making you happy and then start doing your imaginal work again and start getting to that happy feeling place again start living from the end again and try to see if you can keep yourself in that place now of course some things that matter a lot and will make an enormous difference in this process, and certainly in the concept of feeling better about yourself. I guess I'm covering this uh, more than I realized I would. <laughs> I should memorize my own notes, right? So uh, if you're, are, you, are you appreciating what's going on, right? Are you finding and practicing ways to enjoy more, to enjoy more things in life, to enjoy more of your activities, to enjoy more of your time spent being awake, enjoying thoughts, of being with your specific person or enjoying thoughts of being in the presence of this thing that you're trying to manifest. That thought itself should bring great happiness. And as I talked about in yesterday's shows, gratitude, right? Have gratitude. Be grateful for what's coming because that in and of itself starts to create that happier feeling, that happy vibration, that better place. And they talk about Pollyanna as a very common phrase, and I guess it was a movie that was done back in the 60s or whatever, but essentially this person just almost almost to a fault just found positive in everything, like found the goodness in everything. No matter what was happening, Pollyanna was able to see the goodness in the moment. So are we doing that? Are we spending time noticing the things that are going right, or are we spending time noticing the things that aren't going right? These are your choices. These are not my choices. This is not Esther Hicks, Anya's. This is nobody's choice except your own. Thoughts don't happen to you. Thoughts may pop into your head, but we allow them and then control them. And you are able to steer them back to something that you know is going well, that you know you're happy about, that you know is wonderful. Focus your thoughts back in that direction. Remind yourself what is going well and stop focusing on the things that you can't change, that you can't do anything about. If so-and-so hasn't texted you back, fine. Who cares? They will eventually. You can't do anything about it. Worrying about it makes it worse. Getting upset about it makes it worse. Trying to figure out what I did wrong to make her not text me back makes it worse. Don't worry about it. If they haven't texted you back, all right, there's probably a really good reason why they haven't. And just assume that and move forward. They'll text you when they text you. You'll find out. Or whatever. You'll get the call for the interview when you get the call for the interview. Don't worry about it. Didn't happen today. Okay, maybe tomorrow. Maybe later. Who knows? There could be something going on. Maybe they don't do those calls. Maybe the HR person's out, right? Maybe they make those calls early in the week because then it's an issue of trying to schedule all the interviews during the week. So again, let's not assume things. That's what so many people do. And again, the the cliche that goes with assuming, right? You make an ass out of you and me. Let's not assume things. If you know facts, okay, well then deal with those facts. Move forward with that. But again, are we appreciating what's going on? Yes or no? If you're not, we need to get back on to the appreciating thing. We need to figure out a way to feel good about life. 
Another thing that a lot of us don't necessarily pay attention to, and I've done a show on this recently, so I guess I'm pulling a bunch of shows together here in one thing. Recovering lost energy. Are you missing energy? Are you giving energy away? Again, I've done a show on this, uh, I don't want to say it was Friday morning, but different ways that we give away our energy. Are you giving away your energy? If you are, you need to catch yourself when you're doing it and stop. Are we being negative about things and giving our energy up to that? Am I having conversations with friends about how things are not going well, how I wish he would do this. I wish he would call. I wish this would happen. I wish the company would call me. I wish this job or was right there in front of me. Are we spending time being negative with a friend? Okay, it's you at that point that's creating this negative energy. Or do you have someone that's being real negative with you? Maybe they keep saying, give up, give up on this, or you shouldn't be doing this, or only crazy people follow that path. Well, again, you know, you can listen or you not listen, but whatever you're going to choose to do, if you've got someone like that in your life that's basically polluting your mind with things that are causing doubts, then that is not benefiting you at all. So we need to pay attention to how am I giving my energy away? How is my energy dissipating? Why do I feel so good after I get done meditating in the morning and then three hours later, I manage to defeat that and start getting this negative, start having doubts, start whatever. Look to see what's happening to cause your change. What is it that you're doing? Are you frequently catching yourself paying attention to what you don't have right now? Well, then we kind of need to circle back to some of the beginnings of this. How long will this take? Asking you, asking is taking you out of the vortex. Am I doing this right? I don't know. How are you feeling about it? So if you're starting to feel bad, then you're starting to do behaviors that are popping you out. Refer back to other things that will make you feel better. Imaginal work, affirmations, self-love meditations, meditation in general, a walk in nature, some sort of hobby. There's lots of things you can do to put yourself in a good mood. What works best for you? I don't know, but you do. You know what works best for you, so do more of that. When you start getting all funky and feeling bad, do more of that. Do more of what makes you feel good and let these things start to happen. One thing that is very, very important to know, and this is what I'm going to close out on, but this is how law of attraction works. Now, again, it's the Neville Goddard Hicks combination in my mind. Now, you guys can debate that all you want. That's fine. This is where I'm at with it. And I've studied what I've studied, and I'm not going to try to qualify or quantify where I'm coming from with this, but this is what I understand it to be. The Goddard portion is the asking. That's the imaginal work. It's amazing. Very powerful, right? Living in the end and all that stuff are techniques that work after the effect. Once you've done the asking, the rest of it comes down to how are you feeling? What are you vibrating at? Living in the end is meant to assist that. Uh, meditations and all these things are meant to assist that. Different affirmations are meant to assist that. It's all about how you're vibrating. What is your energy level? What are you freak? What's your frequency right now? That is how we attract. Likes attract likes. You ever notice how when you've been really grumpy and negative in your life, you almost always seem to be able to find somebody that wants to have that same negative conversation with you, you just enjoy it. These people find each other because we have similar energies. And likewise, how sometimes when you're trying very hard to make positive choices in our lives, you will find people that are doing similar things. Sometimes they're a little more few and far between, only in that fewer people actually take power of their own lives and fewer people actually try to make a difference by doing these positive approaches. And it's something that I'm here hoping to change. I hope to add more people to that every single day that I do videos. I hope to have one more person in the world that maybe saw something that I said and is now going, oh, wow, I have control over my own life. Boom, victory for Dan. That seriously, likes attract likes. So again, it comes down to that energy. It comes down to what we're vibrating outward is what people feel and it's what attracts back to us. So a lot of people, ah, I don't know why this isn't working. I can tell in most comments and most emails, there's frustration, there's anger, there's doubt. There's all these things that don't feel good. If you're not feeling good, 
Go back to square one. Go back to the basics. Go back to the beginning. Do things that help you feel good. And then pay attention to when you don't. Pay attention to what it is that caused it. Was it thoughts you were having? Were you having thoughts about what you were noticing right now? Or did something occur where they didn't text you back and then you got all fired up and angry? What is it that keeps spinning you? Pay attention. That is your key. That's what needs healing, fixing, affirmations, whatever. Whatever the issue is, it just depends. What is it that keeps flipping you around, kicking you sideways, as I like to say? When we can identify those things, we can make sure that we're vibrating at a good level right now. And then we can make sure that the likes attract likes is bringing more of what we'd like in our life and less of what we don't like. And again, the only way to bring something to you is to focus on it and think about it. The only way to make something go away is to focus on something else and think about something else. There's no way to make something go away by spending any energy looking at it. Any energy at all. Doesn't matter how you do it. Doesn't matter if you're having a conversation. Doesn't matter if you use keywords that are different than what it is. Instead of saying, my specific someone's not here, I say the turnip jumped over the rainbow. But when I say the turnip jumped over the rainbow, that means my specific someone's not here. The universe knows that's what you mean. It doesn't care. It doesn't care what words you use. It cares how you're feeling. How do you feel right now? That is the concern. That is how this works. So, Am I doing this right? Hopefully. Got some great steps in here that'll help you identify where you maybe need a little assistance. And then you just work on that. And then things get better and better and better. And before you know it, you're in the presence of your manifestation and it is before you and you have done it. Congrats, because it's a lot closer than you realize once we get all these things working together. Hopefully this makes a difference for everybody out there. Going out with another great song. This is an old tune from the 80s, but man, this is a good tune. It's by Jeffrey Osborne, On the Wings of Love, Stan Radio Style.